Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, England are back in a Euros final and I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Let's go back to last summer. England versus Italy, Wembley Stadium, the same location. We bottled it. Come on, mate. Italy have won the Euros. It was heartbreaking. I remember being on the tube back just thinking, what do we need to do to win an international trophy? We have a golden generation, an incredible squad, but no finish. When it matters, it hurt me. And I'm so glad that the women's team have come together to beat teams up to 8-0, to play games around England and bring positivity back to this nation. We are in a final facing Germany and I'm going to support them. My prediction, England 2, Germany 1. It's going to be close. If you look at the odds, they're slightly in favour of England. But one thing you have to remember, we're playing at Wembley. So, of course, they're going to favour us. This is right down the middle what can happen. I just want to see the country win an international trophy. I'm buzzing. Let's go. of one year later. Let's see if the result will change. It's going to be 3-1 England. Come on. 2-0 England. Yep. 3-0 England. It's coming home. Simple as. Love that. What are we saying? I'm going 2-0 for God's sake. Please. <laughs> Please. God. But you're a Leeds fan, so... <laughs> You brought good luck. Yeah, you brought good luck. <laughs> you said a very nice thing to me. You started your channel because of us. Basically, I used to, when I was younger, I used to film the goals on my iPad. I never thought anyone would be interested in yeah. your videos. Mate, what a legend. No subscribe to it about the lionesses. I'm so on in you. I'm a bit, I'm getting all nervous. Eddie, mate, all right. prediction today. My prediction, two all after normal time, three all after extra time. Wow. England to win on pens. Goal scorers, Ellen White. Yeah. Beth Mead and Russell off the bench. Wow. That's ridiculous. Here's the seat today. Minutes in. Go on, go on. Oh. 19 minutes in. Corner to England. I've got a feeling this is going in. Let's see then. Oh, good effort. We'll take that. <laughs> One minute additional time. And that's half time. A little taste test. Water in hand. We're back out again. We're through. 60 second minute. 
It's coming on. It's coming. It's coming on. Great save. Brilliant double save. After the game that I was at, Barcelona Wolfsburg in Barcelona, I seen two highest women's football tennis ever. Germany looking to hit back. Dangerous. No. No, 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 no. Limbs in the away end. We go again. This women's team is going to have to fight for their lives to want to win the Euro. Simple as 1 1, 80th minute. I think this game goes to extra time. Maybe even penalties. We're seeing a very similar story to England Italy men's Euro final in the summer last year. It's obviously going to kick off massively, so the row of police, well done, it's really needed. Extra time in the Euros final. Nothing major has happened yet in extra time. Time in extra time. Penalties. That's Yeah, you sure? A round of applause for one final time from the England fans. 15 more minutes to decide a whole tournament. Yes, yes. No way, no way. We're safe, we are safe. He thinks we've won already. Everyone's fired up. He thinks we've won already. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes to hold on. England two, Germany one. I have to admit, the amount of passion and quality atmosphere we've seen today. 84, 85,000 fans inside Wembley, packed out again. Women's football is growing every year. It's beautiful to see, it really is. Three minutes remaining. Two minutes. The women's team is shining. We're so close to this achievement. Come on.
Beth Mead, player of the tournament for 2022. Congratulations. Winners of the UEFA Women's Euro, England! You should be proud to be English tonight. We are Euros 2022 champions. The women's team were unbelievable today. They showed fight from the 90th to the 120th minute to defeat Germany. And that's, uh, I was watching it, celebrating, thinking, this is incredible. It's bringing the nation together. Everyone should be partying. But... I want the men's team to do it now. You know I follow them through thick and thin, home and away, everywhere I go. I want them to have that bottle. Look, women's football's growing. I went to the Barcelona women's game. I got like 92,000 fans this year, 84,000 today. Every year, this sport with the women's game is growing and it's beautiful to watch. Please like and subscribe. 20K likes and it's coming home in Qatar. We're taking it home there as well. That's all I'm going to say. See you in a bit.